Hello friend welcome back In this lesson we are going to discuss how to assess our lung function okay Now the first step to assess the lung function is the respiratory rate How many time you breathe over a period of 1 minute You can assess with your yourself okay in a lying down or a sitting position and you have to measure how many time your chest or abdomen rise for a period of 1 minute one minute the normal respiratory rate in adult is 12 to 20 okay so if it is less than 12 or more than 20 at rest then there is a problem your respiratory rate may increase physiologically depending upon your level of activity for example if you are walking running you are doing exercise your respiratory rate will increase so it's a physiological but if at rest if your respiratory rate is more than 20 then you have to consult your doctor if during breathing if you are using accessory muscle of respiration for example if there is a nasal flare if there is a use of some shoulder then there is intercostal retraction subcostal retraction then it is a sign of some respiratory problem third way you can assess your respiratory system is by counting a single breath count okay so how to count it you have to take a deep breath and while exhalation you have to count to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 i'll just demonstrate 12 so this way you can do it and you can do it three times and take what is the best count the average is between 30 to 50 or 40 to 50 but if it is less than 15 15 then there is a problem in your lung and you have to consult your doctor the next method is a pulse oximeter the pulse oximeter it's nowadays available commercially okay so you can apply to your finger and then it will show you your oxygen level as well as your heart rate okay so in a covid days it is very essential to monitor your oxygen saturation in your blood with the help of this pulse oximeter hmm? so you can see my pulse ox is 96 and 97 and heart rate is 74 so if your spo2 is more than 95 then you are good your lung is in a good state but if your spo2 falls below 93 then there is a problem <clears throat> if you have covid then you have to monitor your spo2 with 6 minute walk test so how do you do a 6 minute walk test so you have to apply the pulse ox and then you have to walk in your room on a floor for 6 minute huh? with a moderate speed and if at the end of 6 minute if your saturation fall below 93 or if it fall more than 3% from your resting spo2 then you have to immediately consult your doctor or if while doing 6 minute walk test if you have a some breathing difficulty then you have to consult your doctor so dear friends in this lecture we have seen that you can assess your respiratory function with the help of respiratory rate then single breath count then pulse ox and 6 minute walk test you can also measure your lung capacity by the instrument known as peak flow meter and the peak flow meter means you have to take deep breath and then you have to exhale in that peak flow meter and then it measures peak expiratory flow rate as well as forced expiratory vital capacity for expiratory volume at the end of 1 second and there are various measurement and there are various zone if your peak expiratory flow rate or forced white uh, forced uh, 
expiratory volume is in a green zone then you have a good lung functions if it is in yellow then there is some problem and if it is red then you have to consult your doctor so dear friend i hope you understood how to assess the lung function it's very essential during covid time because in covid the lung is affected and the simplest thing you which you can do at home to monitor yourself is to uh, assess your respiratory rate your single breath count and the pulse ox and 6 minute walk test thank you so much for watching goodbye have a wonderful day